Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in the beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, yes, as you can see, I kinda like Bitcoin, so let's talk about Bitcoin, because I have like 7 amazing charts, there a lot of information in these 7 charts, now let's quickly jump into the charts, because you really want to know what is happening with Bitcoin at the moment, I'm going to try to explain it. First chart, guys. This is the four hour, very short term, of course. Um, this red line goes from the top to the bottom, and that is a resistance line. We need to break that red line. And we are trying to break that red line every time again and again. You can see that on the chart. We try to break it over there. We try to break it over there. Here, everywhere we try to break it, we can't break it. We need to break that line, then maybe even retest it, and then pull up again. That is the move that I want to see in Bitcoin. We can see a small green candle coming up there, a small green push, but that's uh, <clears throat> not enough volume to break that line. So that's what I want to see shorter. On the one day channel, hmm, we're slowly zooming out by the way, we can see that we broke this mid orange line and then we fell to the bottom orange line where we wicked to every time. We wicked to the bottom line, we wicked to the bottom line, now we touched that upward trend line. We need to get into this green box when it comes to the day candles. And when we get into this green box, we need to try to go and break that green line. So that's the goal for Bitcoin. That's 42,000 uh, yeah, 42, US dollar. That is the level that we need to get to. So to get to that level, we need to first get into the green box, then get to that green line again. That's what I see on the day chart, okay? And if we look at the RSI and everything on the day chart, let's see where we are. The bam bam is decreasing the yellow. The white line starts to curl a little bit up, doesn't go that steeply downward anymore. And RSI, we can see it's bouncing from the bottom, and it needs to do a move. If you look at the five-day chart, it's the Gaussian channel. We are down below the Gaussian channel. Of course, this candle is going to close in one day and 18 hours, so probably it again will be a body that came down below it, but um, it only the wick stays down below it, and the body will close above it. So that will be in one day and 18 hours. We need to be above 38,500 US dollars to do this. The Gaussian channel, we are looking now at the normal candles. If you look at hiking ashing candles, we would still be inside the Gaussian channel. And if we look back in uh, history, on the hiking ashing model, we can see that that was always a good uh, way to look at this as well, because we stayed longer inside the body before we broke out of it. So you can look at normal candles or hiking ashing, whatever you prefer. Hiking ashing gives a better uh, average if it is in uh, viewing at the candles the normal candles give you a little bit more view on how the market at the moment is now in the weekly zooming out even more we got that short flag on the bam bam and that is a bearish signal because we need to have a long and we need to touch that top of the blue line normally before we get a short but we already got a short that's bearish but on the other hand if we look back in history then we had that a few times and those other times that had happened the short was a flat market and then bam another long the short was a flat market and then bam another long so this short can be a sideways flat market and then we can continue again with another long but all guessing nobody has a glass ball if we look at the bottom that red line that is a 200 weekly moving average that one is almost a 22k <laughs> that should be the ultimate 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 support if we are very bearish and at the moment it looks bearish on the monthly <clears throat> like i said this candle is only going to close in 27 days and we need to close above that blue line that blue line is coming closer to the orange line and we have seen that before of course we have seen that over here before a huge move we, we took a distance and then we came closer again and then we started to move up so yes if we can come above that uh, blue line uh, that could be a very positive signal for a continuous move to that midline for example uh, but that's 80k at the moment so 
not looking bullish also bearish because we are down below it but the candle at least at the moment is green and we are trying to move up that is the bullish part if we look at the nvt uh, signal uh, in wubble then um, to look at the market like we are in a bearish trend when do you buy bitcoins people always ask you when should we buy you should buy when the fear is on the market and the fear is on the market at the moment even the nvt signal here is like almost down below that pinkish area now <clears throat> please look to the left and every time what happened after the bitcoin price was in this pinkish area this area over here june 2021 pinkish we had a 30k to 60k run so every time over here we came down below almost to the bottom we went up this on this run from 3k to 14k so here this was the ultimate start of the bull run in 2016 so the moments we touch that line is mostly a good buy opportunity for bitcoin and that's also what you see in the bitcoin Meyer multiple and um, the moment we get at these levels of the Meyer multiple of 0 0.8 look back in history every time we came above that level so first breaking it and then bouncing back above it we had a huge run in bitcoin so there's a lot of uh, bullishness if it comes to the buying opportunity but of course some bearishness if you look at some signals on the charts now if we have more charts we have these ones over here this one is the first one <clears throat> the bitcoin on-chain bottom indicators for all the bearish people that think that we go to 10k and 5k and 14k this is the bottom indicator created by the rational route on the right top you can see his twitter handle um the short-term hollers cost base is what the short-term hollers has paid in average that one is around 46.9k we are down below it this is the level we want to break of course we love to break now this level here the 35.6k is the level that is now acting as support and in these yellow boxes we have been before check here this yellow box we came to that level we even went down below it and then we came above it again and then you know we went for that green level again and that we saw the same over here also same move around that pinkish level and then we went up to that green level again this is 2020 guys and this is 2021 and this was the halving moment of course the ultimate floor is this black line 28.1k so if we look back we have touched that floor once but that was at covid event but after that we didn't even come near so we could hover around that 35.6k try to go up to that 46.9k to break it again to get a new top or we could fall back to 21 28.1k that is how it works on the charts guys now do we have anything more yes of course here we have the bitcoin changed by year these are the bear years so let's say because a lot of people say that we are in the bear market i still don't see a real hardcore bear market i see a bearish trend but i'm not uh, convinced yet that we are in a full bear market to be very clear um, but this shows you uh, the bear markets of 2014 uh, 2015 2018 and now 2022 in yellow so of these uh, four bear markets in total and if we would call it a bear market i need to be very careful guys <laughs> then the 2015 line was a different one that one uh, went a little bit bearish till uh, uh, october and then bam it exploded till all the way into december um the other two they always dropped with from zero to look 75 percent from the first of january till the end of the year so if the yellow line is going to follow these um what is it like brownish and purple lines then we could drop all the way down to uh, 50 to 75 percent and that is from the first of january we were on 40k let's say that it would be to 20k or even lower that is where the 14k number comes from where all the people are shouting if bitcoin would do something else like the 2015 year then we would see this new huge top and of course it can also do something completely new but if you look at an average on what this um what these years did and then we are not talking about only the bearish years but uh, we are talking about all the years sorry Charles btc my face will be now on your face um, then you can see that a lot of 
uh, years from the 1st of January um, went up. There's only a few years that went down and that's only these two years over there. So yes, if it is a huge bear market like these two years, then the, the chance to going down is huge. But if Bitcoin does one of the things of those other years, and that's many other years, like we are talking about 12 years in total, so two years were really bearish, but the others, they were pretty nice. Let's say above 50%, I think that was the lowest one, but the rest was a lot of higher of uh, return of investment. So um, that's how you look at Bitcoin. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really um, enjoyed the video. It was short, but a lot of information. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all these charts? Also, if you want to sign up to the exchanges, use the links down below the videos because you can get a referral bonus all the way up to $4,100 or even $5,000 on OKEx. So use those links, guys. If you want to not be stressing about these daily charts and these daily movements, but have a bot trading view day by day, every day, 24 seven, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com and look at the pro bot because it is making a kick ass profits at the moment for all the users in our community. Now, I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. And yes, do you like my t-shirt? Bam.